Hi everyone, it's Dawn and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Well, we all talked about the Crystal Symphony and the arrest warrant going on for that ship and what happened to those passengers, but guess what? There's another one out there and how would you like to be on this one? You set foot to have a 119 day world cruise and on day three they're told your cruise is over. That's right, well there was an arrest warrant put out there for the Crystal Symphony and it is still up in Bimini. Not sure what's going to happen, we're not sure what's happening with the crew members, not sure what's happening with anything with that ship right now. But there was another one sailing. We had the Crystal Serenity and she had just picked up passengers for a 119 day world cruise segment. And they were off on their cruise and all this started to happen with the country, go uh, with the Genting Cruise Line going into liquidation and what was going to happen? Well, they said, well, I, the cruise is about to end. We're going to have to cut it short. This was on day three. You go on a world cruise and this is not a cheap cruise. This is not the oldest ship in the book trying to find the cheapest world cruise I can do. This is a very, you know, six star kind of service cruise ship. Luxury all the way. And it's not a cheap cruise. 119 days is setting you back some good money. Well, they were planning to end that cruise in Aruba. And the captain had to come on and say, yeah, uh, we found out last night we cannot go to Aruba. Even though there are no warrants out for our ship, there are no nobody looking to repossess our ship or anything like that. Also, we meet the vaccine requirements, we meet the testing requirements, we meet the COVID requirements to go to Aruba. There's no issues there, but Aruba said no. And some people said, well, they must owe the money then. They're afraid the crew, that ship was already prepaid to dock there and all the expenses for everything that was going on was already prepaid. So there's no money owed. There was no simple, but Aruba officials just decided we don't want to get involved in this situation with the United States in case the United States comes and starts asking them to repossess the ship and extricate it. Uh, no, uh, they just decided we don't want anything to do with that. So here was some of the problems though. A lot of passengers had been in contact with another cruise line, Regent Seven Seas, and they were going to disembark in Aruba and join Regent Seven Seas Mariner. Well, they can't go to Aruba now, even though the Region 7 Seas is sitting there, uh, the Mariner is, is sitting there ready to go. And now they're heading back to Bimini in the Bahamas. They're trying to negotiate with the Mariner and say, hey, can you meet us now in Bimini? Is that a possibility? But they're all up in the air. They don't know what's happening. The only thing they know that's happening for sure is that that cruise is finally ending and it will end in Bahamas <laughs> in the Port of Bimini. Well, talk about going from extreme excitement and anticipation of a world cruise on one of the most luxurious ships out there. And in three days in the crew, you don't even know where you're going. You don't even know what's happening. You've booked off 119 days of work. <laughs> and now you, you, what are you going to do? Not only that, can you imagine how much it costs to sail in a suite on a 119 day world cruise on one of these ships? I, I tell you, it's a pretty penny. It's, it's, it's in the hundreds of thousands of dollars range. And on the third day, they tell you the cruise is over and you're going, um, well, am I going to get my money back? Your cruise company is possibly going into liquidation. Am I going to get my money back? Man, I hope you have cancel for any reason and trip interruption insurance. And at the highest level you can possibly have. If I'm spending that kind of money on a world cruise, I'm getting the most expensive best protection of insurance I possibly can, especially these days. But can you imagine 
uh, how much you could possibly lose with this cruise. Now, Crystal did say that they are going to be, if you don't, they're going to be working with the passengers to arrange flights and they will pay the difference of the flights if they, whatever they can move over, if they have to, if it costs more, if it costs less, they, they will help and reimburse them and pay for the difference in those costs. So that's good on Crystal, but that I haven't heard nothing about the total cost of the cruise yet. Will those passengers get that money back, especially for the long cruise, the long haul? And uh, yeah, Genting Cruise Line has filed for liquidations. We don't know what's going to happen with that company at all. It's a bad situation. It's worse for the crew members than the passengers. But there just seems to be a whole lot of we don't knows right now with that company and a lot of people are wondering what's happening with my money what's happening with my job what are we going to do next how are we getting off the ship what's happening and it's not fun i pity everybody involved in that situation uh, from like i said from the most anticipated world cruise, you could almost possibly go on to extreme disappointment, frustration, and possibly loss of a lot of money. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more tips, more tricks, more travel vlogs from around the world, hit that subscribe button. It'll keep you up to date with all things cruising from cruise ship news to cruise ship vlogs the cruise ship inspections, everything you want to know about cruising. You can hear it here on the channel. Don't forget, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell. Really helps the channel out. And until next time, have yourself a safe and a great vacation.